Today in the joy of editing, we're going to check out the brilliance warmth filter found in Nick Color FX, part of Nick Collection 7. It's a really good filter. We'll check it out today, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Today I want to show you a really excellent filter found in Nick Color FX and that is the Brilliance Warmth Filter. And it has a really cool trick up its sleeve, and that is called perceptual saturation, which we'll check out here shortly. By the way, if you don't yet own the Nick Collection 7 and you'd like to pick it up or purchase any DxO software, I'll have affiliate links in the description below this video. You can use my promo code Dave Kelly at checkout, and you'll save 15% off any DxO software you purchase. And when you do that, I make a small commission, and this helps to support the joy of editing with Dave Cully. So thank you for using my affiliate links. Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. As you can see, I have my Nick Collection 7 palette opened up here. If yours isn't open, come up to File in the Photoshop menu and look for Automate, and then just click on Nick Collection 7 palette, and that'll open up your palette. And then all we need to do is click on Nick 7 Color Effects, and that'll launch Color Effects. And here we are inside of Nick Color Effects. If we come over to the left side of the interface, you can see filters. If your filters aren't opened up, just click on filters. And they're in alphabetical order. Or you could come up where the search bar is up here and type in like brilliance, warmth, and you'll find it that way. But I know it's right here, brilliance, warmth. I'll click on the plus and we'll add the brilliance, warmth filter. Now, this is a very easy filter to use. There's not much to it, but it's really powerful, especially for a landscape image like this. And we just have three adjustments. We have saturation, which is a regular old saturation adjustment. We can increase or decrease saturation. If you double click on the slider handle, you can reset it. We have the warmth slider. And this is really nice, especially in a landscape when you want to warm it up a little bit. So I could take the warm slider and drag it to the right, add some beautiful warmth to the image and drag it to the left if you want to cool down the image. And again, double click the handle and we can reset it. But here is the really cool adjustment here, perceptual saturation. And let's talk about that first. Perceptual saturation in the Brilliance Warm Filter plays a key role in enhancing brilliance. This is the brilliance part of the filter. It enriches colors naturally making them more vibrant and visually appealing without oversaturating them. So it's a pretty clever filter. And so in a nutshell, the perceptual saturation slider in the Brilliance Warmth filter enhances hues and complementary colors, making them more vibrant without oversaturating the image. So let's check it out and see what that's all about. I'll start to drag this slider to the right and watch the image. See what's happening, even if I take it the whole way to 60%, which is maximum, you can see we're not oversaturating the image, but we are playing with some hues and complementary colors. Let me pull this back and get it to a point where I think it looks good, where it's enhancing the saturation and the complementary colors, and I think right there. So let me shut off Brilliance Warmth. Here's before and here's after. Isn't that cool? That alone is a really nice adjustment, I must say. So you can use this filter if you just want to perk up your colors a bit with the perceptual saturation slider. But then we could go ahead, and I'm just looking at the foreground right now. I'm going to go ahead and add some warmth to that foreground because it's a desert scene, and that little bit of warmth in there looks really good. Now let me shut off the brilliance warmth. Here's before and here's after. Now I realize it's getting up into the sky, but we can take care of that because we have this control line that we could just affect this foreground area apart from the sky. And so what I'll do then, I'll click on this button to get a control line and I'm gonna click like right about here, click and drag up and see we're only adding that effect to the foreground area. Now I can come here and click on here and shift this up a little bit maybe somewhere around there. Now this area from here up to here is the transitional zone. So I could go ahead and widen this out if I want to, you know, feather this more, but I think right about there looks good. You can angle this line. So you have a lot of options here. You can work with luminance and chrominance, but in this case, I don't need to mess with that. But let me shut off Brilliance Warmth. Here's before, here's after, but that's a really nice adjustment. Now I do want to work in the sky, but I want to work on it separately from the foreground. And I do want to use another brilliance 
warmth filter for that. So let's hop back over to the left side of the interface and we will come to brilliance warmth and click the plus and that adds another brilliance warmth filter. Isn't that cool? That we can have multiple instances of the same filter. For the sky, I'll add a control line first. So on this second brilliance warmth filter, click this button right here. This time I'm going to click right about here and drag down. This way it will only affect the sky area. We could come back and adjust this line if we need to. But now let's come to this brilliance warmth filter. I want to start out by just taking the perceptual saturation and start to drag it to the right. And as I start to increase that perceptual saturation, notice I get some beautiful complementary colors showing up here. Like I'm warming up these clouds a little bit. You see that? just with this perceptual saturation adjustment. And you know what? I think that's good. I like that little bit of warmth in these clouds. It pairs off nicely with what's happening in the foreground. I don't want to make it any more on the warm side or the cool side. And I think all I need is this perceptual saturation adjustment. So let me shut off this layer for the sky. Here's before and here's after. Isn't that nice? I think it really complements that foreground. Now, let me come back to the control line. Maybe I'll pull this up a little bit and pull in the transitional area a little bit, maybe somewhere right around there. Let me adjust this up and down, and I think maybe right there looks good. Now, let's see an overall before and after. Come up to compare, left click with your mouse and hold down. This is before, this is after. Or you could click right here and see a split screen. You know, you could drag this across. On the left is before, on the right is after. And I think that did a really nice job. So the Brilliance Warmth Filter is really good. It's great for landscape images when you want to add some warmth and you want to work in that color a little bit with that perceptual saturation, the Brilliance part of the filter. And this can be used on other images when you need to warm them up or maybe just work with perceptual saturation and see what that can do to color in different images. It's worth some experimentation. This is all I want to do to this image. And usually what I like to do before I apply this filter and send this back to Photoshop is click right here in this box and you'll note the little check and that converts this to a smart object in case we need to come back into color effects and make any readjustments once we get it into Photoshop and maybe we're not quite happy. So we could tweak these adjustments or add more to it. And then at this point, I'm ready to go back to Photoshop. I'll click apply and that'll send us back to Photoshop. And here we are back in Photoshop. I'll get the Nick Collection 7 palette out of the way. So here's this layer right here. By the way, if you want to go back into Nick color effects and readjust this adjustment we made. Just double click Nick seven color effects and that'll take us back in and we can adjust our brilliance warmth filters. I'll go ahead and shut off this layer. Here's before. So we started out here and now we end up here. So that's a really nice adjustment on this desert scene. I really like the brilliance warmth filters. If you haven't used that brilliance warmth filter yet, please give it a try. And don't forget about that perceptual saturation. That's a really cool saturation adjustment. Hey, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.